हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर कुलभूषण चंदेल फ्रॉम हिमाचल प्रदेश यूनिवर्सिटी शिमला टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट इंटरवेंशन टेक्निक्स पर्सनल चेंज फ्रॉम पेपर ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल चेंज एंड डेवलपमेंट लेट वी नो दैट वट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फ्रॉम दिस मॉड्यूल will be describing the range of organization development intervention techniques and determine how they may be applied we will be understanding the transactional analysis techniques we will be studying the gain insights into the own relational and communicational styles we will be studying the reinforcement techniques of organization development we will be understanding the gestalt approach to organizational development there are numerous strategies and methods for intervening the action phase of organization development program organization development strategy involves planning and directing of uh, change programs while intervention techniques deals with the operational aspects of change and specific means through which the goals of organization development are achieved an organization development intervention refers to the range of actions designed to improve the health or functioning of the client system an organization development practice is inefficient if it fails to further organization's uh, objectives inefficiency may emerge slowly and become uh, ingrained in, in the climate of the organization and behavior of the members when organization inefficiency emerges then there must be a shift in the values beliefs and behaviors of the individuals that make the system work in general organization development intervention techniques are based upon the data that the relationships between organization group and organization members do not contribute to organization objectives checklist for selection of intervention techniques while making selection of the specific od intervention techniques there are various factors which are considered by the change agents and the clients some of them are nature of problems objectives of change efforts cultural norms of client system and expected degree of resistance selection of the technique comprises of comparing and testing of possible intervention techniques against some criteria the three main factors that are of major concern are as follows results of technique the potential results of the technique comprises of the answer to the basic problem and reasons for its positive outcome implementation of technique the potential implementation technique comprises of the answer to the proposed technique's workability and the cost involved in its implementation then it is acceptance of the techniques the potential acceptance of the technique comprises whether the technique is acceptable to client system or not and how the technique is developed and tested the above mentioned factors must be considered before making a final decision on the selection of the technique the selection of the technique depends upon the trade offs between the advantages and disadvantages due to the reason that there is no precise way to answer all these questions in advance after comparison of the advantages only the specific technique is selected for the action phase of the organizational development program interventions for change in organization intervention means all the planned programmatic activities 
which are aimed at bringing changes in an organization. These changes are proposed to guarantee improvement in the functioning of the organization. The improvement is related to both efficiency and effectiveness. The changes are brought through the employees in the organization while consultants facilitate the change process. The intervention can be brought by an external consultant who acts in consultation with the client members. The following commonly used interventions are the focus on interventions. Most frequently used interventions in the organizations are person focused, role focused, action research based, process be feedback based and training based interventions. The person focused interventions are related with the individual in whom the whole focus is on individuals. The self introspection and self study is done it. Team intervention, organization development interventions are the techniques and methods which are designed to move an organization from where it is to where it want to be. The interventions are aimed at improving individual and team activities and efforts so that they may better achieve their targets according to the vision and strategy of the organization. Then it comes role focused interventions. These aim at improving the comp uh, compatibility. These aim at improving the compatibility between a job incumbents and the role expectations associated with his or her job. Force field analysis. Force field analysis is a management technique developed by Kurt Levin for diagnosing situations. It is used in planning and implementing the change management program. Force field analysis enables listing, discussing and evaluating the various forces for and against the proposed change. The analysis includes identifying the driving forces that provide change momentum and restraining forces that restrain change. Force field analysis help us to look at the big picture by analyzing all the forces impacting the change and weighing the pros and cons. By knowing the pros and cons, we can develop strategies to reduce the impact of the opposing forces and strengthen the sporting forces. Intergroup intervention. Often two or more interdependently working groups have to coordinate tasks on either a temporary or permanent basis to achieve the required organizational goal. This could give rise to disagreement and conflict among groups affecting group morale and productivity. Where there is competition among groups, it may give rise to tension and conflict and each group may perceive one other as an enemy. To resolve such intergroup conflicts, many strategies are adopted in the organizations like increasing the interaction and communication between the groups and identifying a common enemy and so on. Then it comes process consultation intervention. Process consultation is a method for intervening in an ongoing system. In this approach, a skilled third party works with the individuals and groups to help them learn about human and social processes and learn to solve problems that stands from process events. Then confronting meetings. The confronting meeting is developed by Richard Becker. It is one day meeting of the entire management of an organization to take a stock of organizational health. In a series of activities, the management identifies the major problems of the organization, analyzes the underlying causes, develops action plan to correct the problems and sets a schedule for the remedial work. Then structural interventions. This refers to intervention or change efforts 
aimed at improving organization effectiveness through changes in the task and structural and technological subsystem. Major Organization Development Intervention Technique Following are the major organizational development intervention techniques which are used in the organization development process. Focus on individual. Then the focus on task issues. On the basis of the focus on individual, focusing on task issues are role analysis techniques, career planning, grid organizational development, educational skills such as technical skill, decision making skills. Then it comes focus on process issues. On the basis of focus on individual focusing on uh, process issues are life planning, process consultation, third party peacemaking and educational group dynamics and planned change. Then the gestalt approach to organization development. Focus on groups. Focus on task issues. On the basis of the focus on group focusing on task issues are techno-structural changes, feedback, confrontations, meetings and team building sessions. Focus on process issues. On the basis of focus on group focusing on process issues, they are including survey feedbacks, team building sessions, intergroup activities, family, tea groups, etc. There are many interventions which are aimed at individual improvements while others are aimed at groups. But a single intervention may fit into several or all quadrants. Another manner of categorizing intervention technique is in terms of target system such as personal and interpersonal development, team development, intergroup interface development and total organization system development. OD programs do not necessarily include all these possible intervention techniques, but the grouping is done on the basis of possible activities available to the change agent. The selection of the intervention depends upon the nature of the target system. Transactional analysis. Transactional analysis is the practical and useful interpersonal relationship model which has been applied in organization change programs. The transactional analysis began in organizations as training technique for personnel directly in contact with the customers such as bank tellers, sales clerks, etc. It has also been used in organization change programs as it means of improving the communication and interpersonal relation skills of managers. The transactional analysis provides a model of analyzing and understanding the human behavior. The detailed description of transactional analysis comprises of the structural analysis, transactional theory and psychological positions. These can be explained as under. Structural analysis. The structural analysis is also known as personality analysis. In interpersonal communication, the structural analysis is used to understand how we get to be who we are. The structural analysis is based on the idea that every person has three separate sources of behavior known as ego stated. These ego stated are child ego state, parent ego state and adult ego state. Parent ego state. This state is a set of feelings, attitudes and behavior pattern copied from those of the parental figures. Behavior include prejudicial, critical, consoling and nurturing actions. Then the adult ego state. This ego state is an independent set of feelings, attitudes and behaviors involving 
the basis of objective facts. When the individual gathers facts, tests reality, and computes a rational objective answer, the state is in adult state. Child ego state. This ego state is a collection of feelings, attitudes, and behavior patterns retained from our individual childhood. All the above mentioned three ego states exist within the organization at all the time. The best manner to examine the ego state is to look at the person or at ourselves for such behavioral clues at what words does he or she uses, what gestures does he or she uses, what attitude does or he or she possesses, and what is the tone and quality of his or her voice. Transactional theory. The three ego states are present in every individual and directly affect the type of transactions the persons have with others. Every transaction between the people involves a transaction between their ego states. When one person converses with the second person, the first person is in the distinct ego state and can direct his or her message to any of three ego states in the second individual. Complementary transaction. Complementary transactions occurs when message sent from one ego state receives an expected response from the other party's appropriate ego state. Like, let me help you with the painting. Then crossed transactions. Cross transaction occurs when a message from one ego state receives a response from an inappropriate or unexpected ego state. Like, are you ready to start work on the new assignment? Ulterior transaction. Ulterior transaction involves two ego states at the same time. The ulterior transaction means one thing and the underlying intent which may mean something entirely different like would you like to come up to my apartment and see my drawings then it comes stroking stroking is another concept related to the transaction a stroke is any form of recognition including physical verbal or visual recognition of one person by another person Strokes may be positive, negative, or crooked. Sweatshirts. Another term which is used in transactional analysis is sweatshirts, which is derived from the slogans printed on them. These are part of ulterior transactions. People may express a certain image as if they are wearing a sweatshirt with a message printing on the front People may express a certain image if they are wearing a sweatshirt with a message printing on the front such as I am smart, I am helpless, etc. The sweatshirt may differ from positive to negative and from open to quite hidden, but people respond to this message. Psychological positions as a result of the early experiences People make decisions about their own worth and worth of others. For example, you might feel athletically competent but socially incompetent or vice versa. These feelings lead to psychological positions towards yourself and others including I am okay, you are okay. This position depicts that acceptance of self and others basically a good healthy outlook. I am okay, you are not okay. This position indicates a tendency to mistreat and blame others and to put others down. Then it is, it may be, I am not okay, you are not okay. This position picks the feelings of hopelessness and loss of interest in living with feelings of confusion and depression. Reinforcement technique. Reinforcement techniques are also known as behavioral modification. These techniques refers to the application of BF 
Skinner's principle of operant conditioning to organizational situations. These reinforcement based techniques are called positive reinforcement behavioral modification or organizational behavior modification. Application of reinforcement techniques in organizations. The basic underlying behavior modification is B.F. Skinner's principle of operant conditioning. This technique involves providing positive reinforcement to improve performance as applied to organization change. Skinner proposes that the individual behavior is determined by the environment and the system of reward which provides positive reinforcement. Skinner suggests the maximum use of positive reinforcement and the minimal use of negative reinforcement that leaves the individual feeling controlled and coerced. Positive reinforcement is the rewarding of desired behavior while negative reinforcement means punishing undesirable behavior. Positive reinforcement involves rewarding improved performance which results in increasing the frequency of the desired response in an organization. This implies designing of communicating to the employees how well he is performing and rewarding his performance improvements basically by approval and recognition. The Gestalt therapy formulated by Frederick Pearl is one of the source of transactional analysis. Gestalt is a German word that uh, translates roughly as an organized whole. Man is a total organism for functioning as a whole rather than a set of fragmented parts. It was believed that individuals lack this wholeness and uh, consequently living fragmented lives. There are three basic elements which are associated with Gestalt theory. First, the emphasis is on present and ongoing situations focusing on the interaction of two or more people. The actions which are occurring right now are covered in it. Second emphasis is on self-awareness and self-regulation. The idea of the Gestalt theory is to become more aware of why we do behave as we do by observing ourselves in actions and thus taking the responsibility for what we are and what we are to become. Third integration of these insights along with the full acceptance of how one is rather than how one should be. Gestalt approach, it leads to the possibility of change. This integration helps the individual make the transaction from dependency to self-sufficiency. In this manner, the manager no longer needs to depend upon his job, title or status instead he focuses on learning on depending upon himself. In this, the individual gains emotional and individual awareness allowing him to choose what he wishes to become. The Gestalt intervention is applied to meetings or regular work activities. This approach tries to deal with man as a whole focusing on the development of individual authenticity, autonomy and power. The Gestalt approach focuses on the recognition of needs for power and dominance. The people in organizations often screen themselves from realities which they do not feel comfortable and rationalize their limitations or weaknesses. Let's summarize what we have learned in this module. We came to know from this very module that while making selection of the specific organization development intervention techniques, there are various factors which are considered by the change agents and the clients. Some of them are nature of problem, objectives of 
change efforts, cultural norm of uh, client system and expected degree of resistance. Selection of the technique comprises of comparing and testing of possible intervention techniques against some criteria. There are three main factors that are of major concern. These are results of technique, implementation of technique and acceptance of techniques. The above mentioned factors must be considered before making a final decision on the selection of the technique. The selection of the technique depends upon the trade-offs between the advantages and disadvantages due to the reason that there is no precise way to answer all these questions in advance. After comparison of the advantages only, the specific technique is selected for the action phase of the organizational development program. There are various organizational development intervention techniques based on individuals focusing on task issues and on process issues and techniques based on group focusing on task issues and process issues such as role analysis techniques, career planning, grid organizational development or educational skills such as technical skill, decision making skills, life planning, process consultation, third party peacemaking and educational group dynamics and planned change, techno structural changes, feedback, confrontations, meetings and team building sessions, intergroup activities and family tea group. Transactional analysis is the practical and useful interpersonal relationship model which has been applied in organization change programs. The transactional analysis began in organizations as training technique for personnel directly in contact with the customers such as bank tellers, sales clerk, etc. It has also been used in organization change programs as a means of improving the communication and interpersonal relation skills of managers. The transactional analysis provides a model of analyzing and understanding the human behavior. Reinforcement techniques are also known as behavioral modifications. These techniques refers to the application of B.F. Skinner's principles of operant conditioning to organizational situations. These reinforcements based techniques are called positive reinforcements, behavioral modifications or organizational behavioral modifications. Thank you.